2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Yeah. You understand? Right. Yeah. And we here together, and 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 we gonna keep staying together. We getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's and, right. and and united we stand. And ain't nothing else to, right. to us. Black yeah. excellence. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, though, all them damn friends he used to have all these years, these athletes, these entertainers, entrepreneurs, putting their glasses up with them, toasting, listening to his speeches. They probably, they, they probably knew, bro. They probably knew. But now they hit the fan. Ain't nobody trying to say nothing for them. Damn, but if you're a friend, you're a friend, G. Yeah, thanks. A friend, you're a friend. Until it's still the, allegation. Until, until the facts come out. Uh, but a friend is a friend. United we stand, and right. ain't nothing else. That's to, right. To us. Black yeah. excellence. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I don't hear none of them niggas who was at Diddy's shit toasting with that champagne every year. Nothing. Having speeches with me, ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. Uh, yeah. so, so they say something when you're on top of the world, it's a celebration. Bruh. When you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. <laughs> Same motherfucker you see going up, you gonna see coming down. All the motherfuckers, all with them suits on, with they cuffs up, ain't nobody said nothing. Like, they ain't fool, man. As soon as they say something, they in the crosshair, fool. Boy, this world, boy, this world, so boy. They say this world, boy. So, so you was around Diddy too. That's why you ain't gonna see too many niggas around me. Who was around me before I went to jail? You don't see too many niggas around me. Cause them niggas, them niggas did me like did it, did it, people. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Messy Sweet Spot where we dive headfirst into the world of celebrity drama, unfiltered opinions, and the kind of tea that keeps you coming back for more. Today we're stirring the pot with a topic that's got everyone talking 50 Cent and Boozy calling out the silence of Diddy's friends after his house raids with a particular spotlight on Jay-Z's radio silence. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications because you won't want to miss a beat of what we're serving up. So here's the scoop Diddy's mansion was raided and the allegations are piling up faster than we can keep track. From accusations of harboring sex workers to being involved in some truly sinister activities, the situation is dire. And while Diddy's house is being combed for evidence, two voices loud and unafraid to speak their truth have risen above the whispers 50 Cent and Boosie. These two don't just talk, they roar, unfiltered and raw, saying what many are thinking but few dare to voice. And their question echoes through the halls of Hollywood, where are Diddy's friends now? The big names, the heavy hitters like Jay-Z and DJ Khaled, who shared stages and clink glasses with Diddy at those legendary parties, are now conspicuously quiet. Remember those Rock Nation brunches and all white yacht parties? The ones where the elite of the elite gathered to toast to success and solidarity. Boozy's out here asking, where did all that love go? Why is no one stepping up to say, this isn't the Diddy we know? Sure, a few have whispered their support with Uncle Luke admitting to dipping out of Diddy's parties early and Fat Joe sending prayers from a safe distance. But the heavy silence from the top tier, especially Jay-Z, is deafening. It's as if the once loud declarations of brotherhood have been muted, replaced by a cautious distance that speaks volumes. And in the midst of this, 50 Cent and Boozy stand out, not just for their outspokenness, but for their willingness to ask the tough questions. Where's Jay-Z 50 Cent quips, highlighting the irony of Jay-Z's absence now when he's been a fixture at Diddy's side during better days. It's a bold move calling out the silence and perhaps the hypocrisy of those who once stood proudly with Diddy. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, the fear of association, the worry about what speaking up might unearth about one's own secrets. It's a tangled web of loyalty, fear, and survival in an industry that's as unforgiving as it is glamorous. So I turn it over to you, my brilliant viewers. What's your take on this silence from Diddy Circle? Is it a cautious move to avoid getting dragged into the mire? Or is it a betrayal of a friend in his darkest hour? And what about Boosie and 50's role in all this? Are they the voices of reason or are they stirring the pot for their own reasons? 
Drop your thoughts, your theories, and your unfiltered opinions in the comments below. Let's dissect this drama together because if there's one thing the messy sweet spot loves, it's diving deep into the mess. And remember, if you love getting into the nitty gritty of celebrity drama, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content that gets right to the heart of Hollywood's biggest stories. Now check out this next video for more tea that's too hot to handle. Until next time, keep finding the sweet spot in the mess of it all. See you in the comments.